It's Robocop! Finally! Surrender your weapons. Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Interrogation sequence initiated. You can't do it! I'm a respectable citizen, and I have complex health conditions! Okay, fine, I'll talk! They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car.
Hey, me fan, my guarantee. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. No short-term investments, not in this market. We're looking at an annual return of 9.2% if you diversify your portfolio based on the volatility report. Deferred profit shares are where it's at. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. But, but you're homeless. Public drinking is against the law. Public? But this is my private sofa. I've dragged it all the way from the junkyard. I will let you go this time, but remember that drinking in an unsuitable environment can lead to severe consequences. Well, that's the whole point. You need to be taught some manners.
Choke him out! <laughs> Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but um, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said. Uh, what can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself, but that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of around if you want them. So you are an opportunist.
Ah, <sighs> it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops, you know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke, and when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say, you can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. Funny enough, he always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee. That sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into a drug-related withdrawal? Do you require medical assistance? Uh, what? No, I'm just nervous. Me and Gail have a complicated relationship. She's good at reading people. And I'm the type of person that doesn't like to be read. I know that inevitably I'll do something she doesn't approve of. Like steal a watch? Like steal a watch.
Robocop. Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, Gail. no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you going to steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you can tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction, that that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me, but maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances, even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. Sword of the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it, like, time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Uh, 
Bummer. He's not here. Maybe these guys saw him? Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Oh man, are we really jaywalking? That's a hundred dollar fine. Huh. I guess we're conducting an investigation. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? you should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. No, it is locked. They did not go inside. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops. I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing. So he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not going to happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. 
You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Will you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I had to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works.
The dealer knows where the others had their stash. We could collect Nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. See that guy down there? He's an asshole. Drew a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. But then he started shooting. 